So EA dropped an 87 plus radioactive ultimate dynasties or team of the group stage player pick. Let's open up some of these and see what we get. Hopefully we get some good cards. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, save 5% using code Haver. We have team of the year warmups. We have icon evos. We have a new store pack. We've got new SBCs. The content is heating up. As we get towards Team of the Year coming this Friday. I don't really know who to expect in this player pick. But let's open it up and see what we get. That's pretty terrible actually. That's that's actually that's actually quite horrific to be honest. I'm going to take Boniface out of all three of those. Because I don't really care for any of them. But I don't know. He just looks like he's got the best card out of all three. Yikes. Make sure to leave a like on this video please guys. Because that... It's painful and the like would cheer me up. Team of the Year season is well and truly underway. That loading screen is fantastic. But we also have a Supreme Champions League Heroes pack, which contains 100 rare gold player items that are 82 or higher, 1087 or higher, two guaranteed UCL or UWCL heroes. Let's open up. I'm going to open up both of these and see what we get. First one, let's see what we get here. We've got ourselves Poland goalkeeper Dudek. Not a great start, is it? Not a great start at all. Who is going to be my second one? Wait. I feel like these could be broken. Did that, that said UCL or UWCL hero, right? That didn't say base hero. So unless I've somehow packed a base hero as well as two heroes in this pack, I think it's bugged. I don't hope it is. Compensation, please. Uh, let's see what we have then. So inform Costinia. Oh, great. It's literally, I don't own. Uh, I already own whoever I've got anyway. That's just awesome, isn't it? Duplicate central, baby. Oh, no. Hang on. I did just happen to pack a hero in the pack. I mean, that's kind of crazy. We've got ourselves Messi, Casemiro. I mean, the fodder's kind of nuts. But also, yeah, I mean, it's terrible. But we did get ourselves technically three heroes. There you go. I thought it was just bugged. I was hoping for some compensation, but apparently not. All right, we've cleared the fodder. It's time for Supreme Champions League, whatever pack this is, number two. The design is ice cold, by the way. That design is absolutely fantastic. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Come on, EA. Can we get a decent UCL hero or two? So, we have ourselves... Wait. Oh, it's the inform. It's the ASM rated inform Ramirez and... Definite UCL hero as the walkout. Who is it going to be, though? Who is that? Ricken again? Oh, my God. Not another Ricken, bro. Not another Ricken. Really? It means that the other, one, the other one's going to be terrible, doesn't it? Beasley. And Peter Crouch. So these are just giving out normal heroes as well. Our second one is Beasley. Oh, mate. That's just poor, isn't it? I mean, it's my own fault for opening it, really. It is my own fault, but it's just still, man. Well, I guess we're just going to complete Henri with these packs then. All right, now we've got Jake's 1 of 387 plus RAUD team of the group stage player pick. Now, I'm trying to think of the best players you can get in there. Obviously, Radioactive Messi. Oh, come on. Surely these aren't going to look this bad the whole time, really? Two, two of these so far, and Mendy's been in the first slot twice. This could just be full Ultimate Dynasties. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oberdorf is not awful, but like... This could be a painful, painful time. All right, we've got Nick's on the Xbox. Let's see what Nick gets in his player pick on the old Xbox. Ooh, Griezmann. That's interesting. That's quite a fun card. I think Griezmann this year, I think people are put off by his pace, not being like 95. But he's genuinely a really good card. And his price reflects it, 400k. He doesn't have the finesse shot plus, but it's still a really, really good card. That's decent. We'll take that. That's a win. All right. We have got John's player pick next. Let's see what John's getting. Come on. Mbappe's in this. I think Haaland's in this. Messi's in this. Eh. I think Alisson to Liska's okay. And the reason why I think he's okay is simply because if Ronaldo does get 12th man or a flashback or some kind of special card during team of the year, which I would put at like 95% that he will, that is a phenomenal Ronaldo link right there. You know, I think he's got a decent card. I don't know how much the card's actually worth. Uh, I would hedge a bet and say that it's worth a decent chunk. Like 90k, that's decent. We'll take that. All right, we've got our next 87 plus player pick. Let's see what we get. I think the last two were actually okay, to be fair. We want to see, just try and stay away from Ultimate Dynasties unless it's one of the like big dogs. 
I don't think you can get the Ultimate Dynasty icons in these, but I don't know for sure. Here we go with the next one. Is that not the exact same one as mine? Oh, no, I had Schlotterbeck in the middle, didn't I? That's almost identical to mine. It was Mendy, Schlotterbeck, Boniface. That is terrible. We go again, and fingers crossed, it gets better than the last one. Come on, next one. Here we go. Mats Hummels or Mehdi Taremi as team of the group stage, and Mendy in the first slot again. Now, I might be putting my tinfoil hat on right now, but you can't tell me... That EA doesn't do some shenanigans, whereas, like, certain players show up in the, own, the same slot every time. Mendy started showing up in the first slot in, like, four of these picks so far. That's not a coincidence. Uh, EA are on. Like, there's something dodgy about that. Come on, EA. Let's get an Mbappe. Let's get uh, Radioactive Messi. That'd be nice. I don't actually know who the best ones are, really. I mean, Ericsson's fun. Leroy Zane, I think that's pretty decent. I feel the, the issue is when these come out like a month after the promos, I feel so out of touch because I'm like, is that good? Leroy Zane is worth about 100k. What's, uh, what's Turam worth? Turam is worth about 27k. Fair enough. He took, he took the cheapest one there. Okay. On to my second account now with the 87 plus player pick. Let's see what we get. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, hard choice that. Really hard choice. I wonder who I pick there. Come on, EA. Another Boniface. All right, we've got the hero pack now for B. Holmes. Let's see what we get. Fingers crossed. Two decent heroes and some great fodder, EA. I wonder how hard it is to get an icon in one of these as well. Got ourselves a French VB. I have no idea who that is. That could be good though, right? Bon Pastor. And the other one's higher than 89. Come on. Come on, this could be good. Who is it? Oh, it's Melito, isn't it? 90 rated Melito. The ratings are great. Don't get me wrong. The ratings are really good. But sadly, it's just not super exciting. It's it's okay. Bon Pastor's not bad. Bon Pastor's actually pretty decent. And she's worth a little bit still. But Melito's not amazing. Um, but I mean, you'll take that. That's better than a lot of the ones, to be fair. Maybe there's a dupe in there as well. What the dupe said. Or Brita Fernandes. Just, just fodder. Fair enough. All right, next... 87 plus player pick. I guess it's kind of like a party bag player pick. They haven't really called it that, which is strange because they used to call it that. But let's see what we get. Here we go. Come on. Shock. Shock. Mendy in the first slot. Boniface in the last slot. Again. Shock. EA, we know what you're up to, man. All right. Next player pick. Come on, EA Cook. He's got the gingerbread background. That surely should give us some luck. This reminds me of Shrek. I don't know why. It just does. All right, come on. Cook, EA. Cook for us. Right here. Another Anderson Taliska. Look who's in the first and last slot again. Who is it? Who's in the first and last slot again? Mendy and Boniface. Shock. Absolute shock. All right. Next one. Here we go. It is... I was going to say it's the same players every time, but Bakayo Saka's kind of saved us a little bit there. We've had a Griezmann and a Saka so far. Which have been class. Don't get me wrong. Bakai Sack is worth about 500 and something K. Four star, four star. That's actually fantastic. Um, Bar Sacker and Griezmann, it's genuinely been the same, like five players in every single pick, which is really annoying. Um, but Saka's sick, man. Saka is really, really good. So we'll take that. That's a big W. To celebrate Saka, Lala is now opening a store pack with coins. I mean, you know, fair enough. If it works, it works. Bon Pastor or Lizaro? I don't know which one it is. It's Bon Pastor again. Who's going to be the flip side icon? Uh, sorry, hero. Come on, be a good one. Be Tevez, be Viali. It's the exact same two again. Wow, shock. I'm not kidding. I just feel like today. I feel like today. It's just the same players over and over again. I feel like all we're getting is the same players over and over and over again today. What is going on? I mean, the fodder is good. Kevin De Bruyne there. He's, you know, going to be team of the year in a week, but it's fine. Greasy Griezmann there as well. Allison. All right. Dan the Gooner is opening his hero pack with FC points this time. Let's see what he gets. Who will be his two UCL or UWCL heroes? First one's Rickon. It's a terrible, terrible start. Terrible start. Who's the second one though? Ooh. Oh my. Wait. Dan doesn't already have him, does he? I know I packed him for somebody. I don't know if it was Dan though. Oh, please don't be. Please say that's not a 
a dupe. It's not a dupe. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Absolutely humongous W. Company, the perfect link with the brain. That's class. That is absolutely classy. Take that. Bunch of fodder in there as well. That worked out well. That one worked out really, really well. And the cheeky little Van Dyke there in the duplicates. You take that. All right. B. Holmes has got the 86 plus hero pick and the 87 plus pick as well. So the hero pick first. Oh, you know what? If you're a United fan, you're loving that player pick right there. Oli and Berbatov. He wants Oli. Totally respect that choice. Absolute legend. All right, the 87 plus pick now. Let's see what we get. Come on, EA. Karam in the middle slot again. Just saying. All three of these we've already seen as well. Ah, that's a shame. That is a big shame. Will we see anyone we haven't seen already before in this player pick? I feel like it's just continuously the same cycle. Come on, EA. Break out the cycle. Let's see someone we've not seen already. Let's see an Mbappe or a Messi or something. Would be very much appreciated. Please. I beg, and not the same players. Here we go. Oh, man. This might be, first of all, the biggest avoid I've ever set. I, it might be the biggest, biggest avoid of a player pick I've ever seen in my life. And secondly, it might be the most same player pick in terms of the same players in every pick i've ever seen like this is actually kind of ridiculous to the point where i almost think we'll get compensation because this just does not feel right at least in the player picks there is a good level of variation but this thinks that this one just feels like it's broken it shouldn't be this similar every single player pick surely all right here we go here we go can we please get some different players at least we got one different player. We get Nani. Sadly, the the really weird part, and I really don't understand it. How has Nani got four star skills? One of the most skillful players I've ever seen in terms of he used skills all the time. He was such a skillful technical player, and you give him four star skills. It makes no sense to me. I don't get it. But then you see other players with five star skills, and you just wonder how they've got five star and Nani's got four star. I don't know. My head is blown i'm gonna rip open one of these hero packs on my second account now i want to do both of them but i think i'll get so many dupes i don't think it's worth it let's see which heroes i get though so the first one dimitar berbatov i'll take that untradeable i was thinking though bar like tevez and viali and maybe one or two others who even are the good ones like company tevez viali i can't think of any other good ones really who's that litmanen pretty terrible who are the actual good ones i've totally forgot Oh, yeah, I suppose Schneider and Ramirez as well. Yeah, to be fair, you're not wrong. That's not a terrible pack. We get a few informs in there, which we do really need on this account because we need the fodder. Uh, wow, a lot of informs. I'll take that. That's actually good for the for the account. Then. All right, next 87 plus player pick. Wow, we haven't seen those three yet. We definitely haven't seen those three yet. We got another Anson Taliska, who when I first saw him, I was like, yeah, that's cool. Now, now... You know, we've seen him 18 more times. I'm kind of bored already. All right, John's doing the Supreme Champions League pack. The Supreme Champions League hero pack, should I say. Which is actually, the last 600k pack was 4k F points. So it's actually a bit of a discount, I guess. Uh, Dudek is not fun. I don't think Spolarek got one. So it's guaranteed Dudek every time it's Poland. Uh, we want to see like a Ramirez or a company or something on that on the flip side. Come on. Someone good, please. Who's that? Um, Animan. Just, you know, the dynamic image is really cool, but it's just not fun, is it? It's not fun at all. Um, what we got for fodder? Whoa! Look at all those informs. Okay. that That's actually really good, to be fair, because like seven or eight informs is genuinely about two to 300k. His informs are like 30k at the moment. We'll take that, actually. The informs are class. That's actually, that's actually not bad. All right, next player pick. Which three of the same players will we get in this one? Ooh, we get a new one. We get Maserawi. I wonder if Maserawi is expensive, actually. That's not bad. What is, uh, what's Maz worth? About 150-ish K. I mean, you take that, to be fair. 
that's not bad. Considering, like, there will be really good Bayern Munich cards in the future, that's a good card to have in the club. I'm opening this. I know I, I, know I shouldn't. I'm opening this because it's a guaranteed icon, and I just think, like, give me Ronaldinho or Mia Hamm or Cruyff or R9 or Pele, you know? You know, that's... Give me one of those. I'm really happy. Got an Argentinian striker from Inter Milan by the name of Lataro Martinez. Is in form 89, which is good. Who's going to be the icon? It'll probably be terrible, but I just like to go for it just in case, you know? It's Lineker. Brilliant. Gary Lineker. Great. Hide your walkers crisp around Gary Lineker. He does ungodly things to them. You don't want to know what he does to walkers crisps. It's our Gary. Ah, Gary. Ooh, hello. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. He was ice or fire last week, but we got ourselves uh, Sanchez and the fire version as well, actually. Not bad. Uh, we've got a double inter partnership there. Neymar is really frustrating because that could have been ice or fire last week. Um, and obviously a bunch of fodder, which is nice. So, uh, you know what? It's not terrible. All right, I'm being full DJ and I'm doing it on my second account as well, because why not? I actually need fodder on this account for SVP. So it's an investment into this account's growth. Whatever that means. Harry Kane? He's not an inform this week, is he? He's just a normal card, right? Yeah, 90 rate Harry Kane and Michael Owen. I'm getting all the English icons today. Wow, so happy. That's awesome. That's great. So grateful. Mo Salah, Hergerberg, Ruben Ooh. We get Fire Sanchez again. We get Ice Tamori, who is very expensive. That's a sick card as well. The only annoying thing is that I don't play on this account. I always get some of my best cards on this account. And I literally don't play on it. But that's still really good. I don't know if he's more or less than the uh, the Fire version. But I feel like the Fire version might be a CB. How much is the Fire version? So that one's about 500k. The Fire version's about 800k. So it's still a good card though. We'll take that. And then obviously uh, Sanchez as well. I'm not saying his first name because it triggers my echo. And it's really annoying. But overall, that's a really good pack.